greeting students uh in this chapter today we will start with elastic module and then we will study about young modulus so far we have understood about the different type of stress strain we have discussed about the strain strain stress strain curve hooks law so i will take it for, forward okay so the next the next is elastic moduli see what is modulus of elasticity or elastic moduli okay it is the um, will write such that modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity the ratio of strain and stress will be known as modulus of elasticity so the modulus of elasticity elasticity will be equal to the ratio of strain the stress and strain okay this will be known as modulus of elasticity why this is important it is greater importance of manufacturing in engineering okay it is an important tool so it is a uh, important tool for structural and manufacturing engineering after modulus of elasticity we have young's modulus next we have young's modulus see the experimental observation shows that for a given material the manu the magnitude of stress my apologies the magnitude of strain produced is same okay i am repeating the experimental observation shows that for a given material the magnitude of strain produced is same either the stress is tensile or compressive okay or in another word we can say that the ratio of tensile or compressive stress to the longitudinal strain is defined uh, as the young's modulus and denoted by the symbol y okay so for a given material we can write that for a given material the magnitude of strain produced is same whether the stress is stress is tensile or compressive the ratio of tensile or compressive stress denoted as sigma to the longitudinal strain to the longitudinal strain denoted as epsilon is defined as young's modulus okay so young modulus young's modulus y will be defined as tensile or compressive stress sigma upon longitudinal strain epsilon now stress will be given as force applied per unit area f upon a and longitudinal strain will be given as delta l upon l change in length upon the original length so then modulus y will be given as f l upon a delta l since the strain is a dimensionless quantity the young modulus unit will be the same as stress okay so the unit of 
Young's modulus will be Newton per meter square or Pascal. See, for metals, Young's moduli will be large. That's why these materials require a larger force to produce a small change in length. For example, to increase the length of a tin, uh, to increase the length of a thin steel wire, we require greater force, but to produce the same strain in aluminium, brass or copper wire, having the same cross-section area will be less compared to the steel. It means that steel is more elastic than copper, brass and aluminium. It is for this reason we need to understand that steel will be preferred in heavy duty machines and structural design. Comparatively wood, bone, concrete and glass have rather a small Young's model. In next session we will do some numerical we will find out the young modulus of a material of a wire, the bulk modulus and the application of elastic behavior of material. Thank you.